Hello YouTube partners, I just wanted to uh, post a tutorial video. Uh, if you're like me and you've uh, become addicted to YouTube, you probably would like to customize the appearance of your channel's background image. Now of course as we know in 2012 YouTube released the new interface and it's it's been a, uh, a work in progress but now uh, they've gotten to a point to where it's able to be further customized. Now to add what you're seeing here, now this is my channel, Irix Guys Adventure Channel, and you're seeing this back, this is a background image here. So, and I'll explain step by step how I created it, uh, but you can see it's just a, a big photo, a photo I made of, uh, of the water in Bermuda. And then I've got these smaller photos that I pasted into it. And then this uh, text over here as well, it says Irish Guys Adventure Channel, it's got my URL. Now, of course, all of that is just one image. So to create a background image for YouTube, it's quite simple. And, and you can use multiple uh, photo editing utilities. But for this scenario, I just use Photoshop. So what you'll want to do, uh, the first step is to create a new image within your photo editing program. And you need to be sure and you can see here the image size, the width needs to be 1800 pixels and the height needs to be 1800 pixels. So just create a new image with those dimensions and then you can paste whatever whatever you want into it. Now as you can see here, the first thing that I pasted into it was that photo of the, of the water. And then all of these right here, if you're familiar with Photoshop or similar image editing utilities, uh, GIMP, by the way, G-I-M-P is a great free one out there. But you can uh, you can simply paste these new images as layers. Now in this scenario, of course my main image in the background is 1800 by 1800 pixels. These images that I pasted in, some were photographs that were taken vertically and some were horizontally. As you can see here, uh, the phone, phone booths, those were horizontal. Uh, so was this one with the moped. And then these other ones, uh, the, this one and that one were vertical photos. But for all of these, I just did, uh, I resized them to uh, 300. And then I said constrain aspect, uh, constrain aspect ratio. So it kept everything right. But when I did 300 for these, it scaled very nicely. And then over here, I just used a, uh, I typed this out, the name of my channel and the URL and then I rotated the text to be vertical. The best way to do this, and there's no real science, I know you get on uh, you get on the internet and people say, I've got a template, this, that, and the other. That's great, uh, but what i found is just a simple process, and that's step one, creating an image that's 1800 by 1800. And before you do anything else, you might just wanna up upload that image to your, uh, uh, to your YouTube channel's background. See how that looks. And then once you're comfortable with how that looks, then go in and start adding. If you want to add, uh, I don't know if you want to add additional photos or maybe you want to add text, whatever you might want to do to dress it up, add a few of them off to each side because you're going to have the left side and the right side to work with. And as we can see here, and I'll pull the uh, uh, my YouTube channel back up so you can see how it looks. But see, that's the, oh, where did it go? It's here somewhere, I'm sorry lost my Google Chrome browser, but I will find it. Okay, so there it is. So what you're seeing here is a finished product. You can see I had this left area to work with and then I had the right area. Now what I also did, I did a repeat, and you, you don't have to do that. You can just have one image and then this area down here would just be whatever the background color is. That's personal preference. But I did a repeat to get this. So you can see that, and let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison here to see how all this translated. So that's within my photo editing app. And then this right here is how it appears on the, on the YouTube page. The best way to do it, just remember 1800 by 1800 pixels with the image, and then just drag and resize and play until you get everything like you want it. Because I had to play around with this, with the size of these images, these additional layers that I added to my main image. I had to uh, play around with those to get them spaced out like I wanted because uh, as you can see here, there's, uh, I mean, I just kind of made them staggered, but I think it looks nice. I mean, for what I wanted on my page, 
but once you get the first image or text or whatever you have, once you get it aligned, then this kind of functions as a uh, as a as a layout for you to uh, to work with. Because I know if I, for example, if I put an image over here, it wouldn't be visible because it would be appearing behind the actual YouTube interface. That's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me a message. Uh, feel free to share this video with others if you if you find it to be a value and. Uh, Again, I appreciate your feedback, and, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube. Have a good one.